Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We split a pair of NBA picks on Saturday's short slate of NBA odds. Now on Sunday, we have a large slate of NBA here with uh, opening day and the national championship taking over on Monday. No NBA action on uh, Monday night. However, for Sunday afternoon evening, here with a couple of picks for you and starting off with Los Angeles, the Clippers taking on the Washington Wizards as a six-point favorite in this one. Total of about 208 points. The big news from this one is that Blake Griffin will finally be ready to make his return after being suspended and being injured with several different injuries over the course of the last two or three months. And uh, it's going to take a. It's going to be a, a big wild card for the Clippers here in the playoffs. Is uh, probably one of the biggest team, biggest wild cards left in the playoffs heading into this one with Griffin coming back. Not a lot of people know whether or not that's going to help them tr enough to uh, overcome the top three seeds in the Western Conference. Maybe upset one of them here on their way to the Western Conference Finals. But for tonight's purposes, I think six points is undervaluing the Clippers even without Griffin in the lineup and with him. Even though he might play limited minutes, he, they're still going to want to get him reacclimated into the offense and ready for the playoffs here to start here in a couple of weeks. And I think they're going to go to him early and often try to get his rhythm back against a team like Washington here, despite the fact that they have been good at times this year on the road, they have not been great. And I think against Los Angeles here in this one, I think it's a very good opportunity to lay the points with Los Angeles, especially with the way they've been playing defense at home, giving up only 95 points per game in their last nine home games. You take away bad losses to the Cavs and the uh, Hawks, both two tremendously better teams than the Washington Wizards. The Clippers are only giving up 92.5 points per game in their in six of their last eight home games. I think the Clippers here laying the points is the way to go. Next up is the New York Knicks playing host to the Indiana Pacers tonight. Pacers got a big win against the Philadelphia 76ers. Got help from the Bulls losing last night. Now have a full two-game lead on the eighth seed of the Eastern Conference, and they are heading into New York as a four-point road favorite. Coming off the back-to-back, -back, though, haven't been that great this season at only 7-9 and nine against the spread, but I think the total here, 196.5 to 196, depending on which way you're looking at, is a very good play on the under here. It's already starting to tick downward. The uh, Pacers are 11-5 and five this season, cashing the under under playing on no rest and the Knicks being long out of the playoff race they've decided to start taking a look at some of their younger guys which is good news I think for the under in this one as well Carmelo Anthony only played 25 minutes in their game against Brooklyn the other night I expect him to play limited minutes as well here in this game on Sunday evening and what's good about that is I think the Indiana Pacers, even on the back-to-back -back here, uh, will have a better ability to play defense against a slower-paced New York Knicks team, especially with them playing some of the younger guys. So with the Pacers coming in tired, Knicks playing some of their younger guys, I expect a little bit of a sloppy offensive performance from both teams, with the under looking like a pretty good play here at 196.5. The Knicks have been on an under-cashing tear over the last several weeks, cashing the under in 16 of their last 18 games overall. Pacers have been pretty good cashing under here recently as well, and three of their last four and five of their last eight road games. Kristaps Porzingis out for this one, which hurts the Knicks offense a little bit as well. Take the under here at 196 and a half. Best of luck to you on both of those. We will take a day off of the NBA and uh, enjoy the national championship and opening day on Monday. We'll see you back here on Tuesday for some more NBA action, but until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.